Unrack technology and I'll be introducing to you the TX3 Mini available for purchase on our website. We have the one gigabyte RAM, eight gigabyte ROM model and the two gigabyte RAM and 16 gigabyte ROM model. Each comes with a quad core processor. Now the first thing that you need to do when, when acquiring your TV box is to set up an internet connection. So with this specific device, we can go into settings and they've made a custom setting tool just for quick to access settings. So you don't have to go through all the settings to find the most commonly accessible settings. So the first thing we do is we go to wireless. As you can see, we are already connected to our own Wi-Fi. But when you get your TV box, I'm sure you want to connect to your own. So your Wi-Fi networks will pop up on the screen. You select your own Wi-Fi and input your pass key. Then there afterwards, if you'd like some more settings, as I said, these are just quick adjustable settings. You can always go down to more settings and the small toolbar will pop up. But on our quick settings access bar, we have the display, which mine is currently set to 95%. This is just so you can adjust the screen size to the size of your monitor or your TV. I think we perfect job 95%. Now, you'll also be able to adjust your resolution. However, we are currently only running on 1080p at 60 hertz due to the monitor that we are currently using. But if you have plugged it into a 4K LCD monitor or TV, it will then pop up with 4K and you can select that to get your brilliant quality. Now, for, the, for extra settings, you can obviously select more settings and you'll see the sidebar menu coming up with most quick ac accessible settings. You will also be able to uninstall apps as our TV boxes do come installed with um, pre-installed applications. So just for example, if you no longer would like to have Red Bull TV, you select it, click uninstall and uninstall that. I'm not going to do it at the moment because Red Bull TV is fantastic. Now, if you'd like even more settings to that, you can scroll all the way down to more settings and the full fledged menu will come up. Now, these are all the settings that the Android TV box has, which there is quite, quite a bit of options. So if you are a bit lost there, you can just click on the search key and search for what you'd like to change. Now, another aspect of this is I'd like to show you guys the quality of videos. Now, I'll just be going on to YouTube. Yeah, as you can 4K video, yeah, just so I can show you guys the quality. Well, that looks like fantastic quality to me now guys please let us know what you think of this video and i'd also like you guys to note that we are currently using the i10 air mouse keyboard in the duration of this video it has many great functionalities such as volume control easy access and a qwerty keypad now this is really a great user interface add-on for the tv box besides using the standard infrared remote control that it does come with now as you'll see as a later clip will show we will be showing you the external connections of the tv box and how to get yourself connected to them please don't forget to like and subscribe to our, our to our video channel and we'll be in touch